Good morning students. Today I shall be discussing William Wordsworth sonnet The World is Too Much with Us. Students, this sonnet was written in the year 1802. William Wordsworth as you very well know is a romantic poet and he was uh, he was known as a high priest of nature. Students, he had got this title as a high priest because he was a man who could see that there was an inscrutable relationship existing between man and nature unlike other poets william wordsworth he had a high respect for nature other poets also could find relationship between existing between man and nature but it was william wordsworth who had such a keen and such an intense relationship with nature that he is the most admirable poet uh, till today and even i to some extent i find him very interesting and very applicable even in today's modern times that is why william wordsworth keats they are the poets you know who still stand you know very worthy very notable in today's modern world, today's modern world's context you can relate with them so uh, if i talk about today's present condition what we are facing today the problem of corona disease and covid 19 which is generally known as covid 19 students this is mainly about this uh, disease how it came you know it is man's uh, what you say a very cruel attitude towards nature man has lost his relationship with nature he doesn't regard nature that is why there is no sensitization of man towards nature he has as you know he has become very selfish he is highly like selfless concern has lost which was existing between you know between the people of the past which even on our ancestors as they worshiped nature in every aspect of their what you say day to day living uh, the nature was being you know highly regarded today we have lost these values why because uh, it is very well reflected through this sonnet and we can relate the problem which exists today you know we can relate it to our own weaknesses man has his own weakness that today he considers himself to be very you know very uh, what do you say powerful very uh, having lot of strength but which type of strength does he has strength only to extract to what do you say everything out of nature that is consuming nature but are you giving back in return to mother earth anything so we haven't done that we have lost that so here i can you people can very well you know connect to this poem uh, that is why i today uh, morning gave you notes also and today i am just uh, wanting to uh, give a few points to you on the same sonnet actually this sonnet uh, it is a sonnet which is having a petrarchian pattern uh, and uh, the first eight lines which are known as octave in which introduction is being given to the sonnet and uh, even uh, the subject matter is present and the remaining six line that is sestet in which you know remaining six lines you give generally the conclusion so what i want to tell you that i will just uh, i'll begin with few lines of uh, wordsworth and only 14 lines as you know the sonnet is of but i'll just uh, relate to you to those lines and then i shall also be just interpreting those lines uh, so that you can connect so i'll few read out the um, few lines of the sonnet the 14 lines the world is too much with us getting and spending we lay waste our powers little we see in nature that is ours we have given our hearts away a sordid boon see students the poet says we have lost our heart it's a sordid boon now see a paradoxical image here sordid boon it's not any uh, boon or blessing it's a curse it's a curse on human beings that they have lost connection with nature because every time the world is with them world world is uh, sorry the world is a metaphor metaphor which stands 
which symbolizes our desires because we are always having desire to earn to spend we are so fast in earning and spending that we have lost you know we have lost our feelings we have lost our connection with nature beautiful sun is rising beautiful birds are flying as you can feel nowadays in your lockdown you can generally feel all these things now that there is less pollution you can see the free air free birds flying in the air you can have the you can feel the cool breeze blowing so these are the things which we have lost touch because we have become so mechanical getting up early in the morning using your electrical gadgets and you know eating and uh, uh, going by scooter or going by cars to the uh, office then working on your computers okay and coming back home and going to sleep so these these are the things which become problem because the problem is we are just you know we have lost ourselves to the world of digitalization this is what is happening with our posterity with our younger generation these people we can you know nursery pre pre primary kids in their uh, school hours they are just being made to sit in their classrooms with digitalized with smart classes they are shown the beautiful image of an apple of a dog of an any eatable so uh, beautiful or uh, you know very uh, interesting things and these things only we can take them in the company of nature we can take them to a garden we can show our children beautiful green uh, lush green trees we can show them uh, beautiful mangoes beautiful apples beautiful bananas hanging but no we don't have time for these things because a child has to go to the school then he has to come back eat eat his food and then again he has to get prepared for his tuition class then english speaking class then he has to go for his uh, what you say uh, aerobic class or there are infinite number of these things so what my main concern is students you even you with your siblings you have to make them realize that we have we have we have to have lot of concern for our nature we don't have to lose this aspect then see in the same sonnet when we go further then he says that there is a beautiful sea uh, the beautiful sea which bears her bosom you know there is a personification in these lines the sea is being personified as a beautiful lady who bears her bosom to the moon then there are the winds which are gathered up now like sleeping flowers so there is again is a simile so this sonnet is again very rich very rich in figures of speech there is a uh, use of personification there is use of metaphors symbols there is a use of uh, simile and um, further to go on so many other natural images so what poet what william wordsworth wants us to remind because he wrote this poem he wrote this poem in 18 in 19th century okay so in 19th century that is 1800 to 1850 that was the beginning of an industrial era so he could realize that people have lost their connectivity with nature they are having you know lot of uh, uh, what you say uh, uh, lot of respect for what you say machines inventions but they have no respect for their mother earth for the nature which which gives them their identity so they they had started identifying themselves with the industrial world so the same thing is happening in our modern century we have started identifying ourselves you know you take example of uh, yourself myself we generally are interested in digital world we are more interested in selfies we are more interested in our you know false images so why why because we don't believe in ourselves in our inner power we are becoming very highly superfluous so here we have to ponder we have to question here what's going wrong the what's going wrong the wrong is that we have got connection with nature so that we have to again regenerate we have to revive that that is the most essential thing students and see when he comes to uh, last um, uh, sesset 
he comes to uh, conclude uh, the sonnet he says he says i would rather be a pagan i would rather be a non christian why to be a christian why to be a religious man because if you are religious you have respect for values you have respect for nature you have respect for your fellow beings you have kindness in yourself you have got um, value for friendship you have you empathize with others you have sensitization in yourself ingrained in you but these things again we have lost we take everything from nature from nature but we don't do anything to provide to our mother earth so again he says i would rather be a pagan pagan i would rather be a pagan non religious man who lived in you know um, the past century where they had lot of respect for nature like even in india <clears throat> you can always relate even till today the ladies who are orthodox who are traditional in their practices they generally uh, morning they offer uh, what you say um, jal water to the sun to moon uh, during night they do puja they do prayers they still they consider tulsa that is basil they consider tulsa and they consider people tree they consider uh, amla tree gooseberry that is to be very very sacred so that still happens but we people who are living in our concrete world you know living in our apartments buildings we are surrounded by our walls that is walls uh, which are walls of what you say i would say these are the walls which have separated us not only from man even from nature so we are just enclosed in our world that is the concrete world so why can't we have the world of nature the surrounding so that is why he says i would rather be a pagan he concludes by saying where i could feel that the sea god is coming out of the sea and uh, the uh, sun god that is triton he is blowing his reed horn so that would be a beautiful sight so why can't we have the beautiful sight of nature why can't we have regard for nature so students uh, i would also you know uh, just i um, uh, could tell you the, um, the pattern of the sonnet that is the rhythm pattern that follows a b b a a b b a c d c d c d so this is also petrarchian style okay so i again i will be providing you few questions and answers uh, after this uh, lecture so thank you for your attention and all the best for exams